Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. Before we get into it, it'd be massively appreciated if you went ahead and dropped a like on the video. Cheers. So with plenty of time left in the transfer window this summer, Philip Clement will be hoping that he can add another one or two players to the current team, making us stronger going into a fresh campaign. So according to iproxnews.com, Rangers are now leading the race to sign heart striker Lawrence Shankland, despite Celtic now showing interest in him. The website reported that Celtic are looking for alternatives to Norwich City's Adam Eda, and are ready to potentially try and hijack Philip Clement's move for him. However, it would seem that we are still in the pole position to sign the striker who did score 31 goals last campaign. Shanklin's contract with Hearts does run out next year, with the striker understood to want a new challenge in his football career. We have been linked with him for a while now, and these links don't seem to be going anywhere anytime soon. It would be a big mistake if we do let Shanklin slip through the net, considering it's being said that we could secure him for less than 4 million, and with his current deal set to expire and wanting a new challenge, he will surely be set to leave Hearts come the end of the upcoming campaign, and Hearts will end up losing him for free if that does happen. So what do you guys think then? I've actually said it multiple times now on this channel, and I will say it again right now. If we don't go ahead and sign him then we have missed out on a massive opportunity this summer. Obviously teams will be chasing his signature so it's no surprise that Celtic also want to sign him, but if Shankland had to pick between the two clubs to go ahead and sign for, then I would imagine that he would sign for us, and it would be a great bit of business especially with his experience and ability. But let me know what you guys think down in the comments and subscribe for daily videos. Cheers.